What's going on everybody, it's Eric Rayweather back here and in this video I'm going to show you the fastest splits in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time viewing one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So for today I will show you the fastest splits in Madden 18. In my opinion, uh, I haven't found anything personally that has come in faster than this. Now, there's going to be a, a lot to this video to pay attention to, so don't just see the blitz and then and then dip out of the video because I'm going to go over some things at the end of the video that you need to be aware of. So you can use a nickel double A gap or you can use the nickel 245 double A gap. They both work the same way and you want your fastest pass rusher at the right outside spot. So in this formation, it would be the defensive end on the right side of the field. That's where I have Vic Beasley at. If you're in the nickel 245, he's going to actually be an outside linebacker, so you want your fastest pass rusher at the right outside linebacker spot. Now, there's two plays we can do this with. We could do it with mid blitz, and we could do it with buck zone blitz. I like buck zone blitz a little better because I, I rather the zone coverage behind it. I'm not a big fan of running like zero blitzes where you're just rushing six guys and have everybody in man. I think it leaves you a little bit more vulnerable. At least with zones, you can kind of like bait them a little bit into throwing a bad pass, so I like to use buck zone blitz. Now, let me put the disclaimer out there on a type of blitz like this. We're going to be sending six people, and it's going to be extremely fast, but this is not a blitz you can spam. You have to be smart, especially this year on defense, because the blocking is better than ever. You know, blocked running backs actually block smart this year. There are ways to pick up these blitzes, so you want to use this sparingly, and I'm going to show you how to kind of mini-scheme out of this formation towards the end of the video, but I want to show you the blitz first. So to set this blitz up, we need to blitz this linebacker here that's in the yellow zone. The easiest way to do this to save time, since he's technically the right linebacker in this formation, we can hit the right bumper and then right on the right joystick, and that blitzes him. Now, if you're in the nickel 245 formation, you can't do this. You have to actually manually click on him and blitz him because you have four linebackers on the field. So if you're in nickel normal, double A gap, you can hit the right bumper right on the right stick. It blitzes him. If you're in the 245 double A gap, you have to manually click on him and you're either going to click A or um, X, depending on which system you're on, and then you click down on the right stick. Those are the two ways you can blitz him, okay? Now, that's really all we have to do other than that. Uh, I like to just get on this free safety and lurk the middle of the field right here. And you can put him in a yellow if you want, but you don't really have to put him in anything if you're going to manually lurk on him. This is going to come fast. Your job is to try to take away the first read. If you can take away the first read, the quarterback's going to get hit. So watch how fast this comes in. So I'm here on the tight end, and bam, he's hit. Very, very quick. Now, like I said, you have to you have to scheme around this. You can't just run this all day because if you do, they're going to block the running back, they're going to pick up the blitz, and you're going to get annihilated because you only have five people in coverage. So let's say you're worried about them hitting the flats, and you need to, you need to guard the flats in this. You just want to hit the Y or triangle button, depending on which system you're on, and then you want to hit down on the right stick. That puts hard flats on the field. So now we're running this blitz, and they're like, oh, I want to dump it off to the flats. Oh, but now we've got a hard flat there. He gets lit up. He gets he fumbles it. Even if he didn't fumble it, he was gonna lose uh like three or four yards right there. And then but because we had the hard flat there, we were able to meet him in the flat, lay a hit stick on him. So that's one thing to keep in mind. When you're blitzing a lot of people, a lot of people want to dump it off to the flats. So we're sending these six guys. I'm I'm sitting here watching the tight end. Oh, I see I tried to dump it off to the flats there, but that's how fast the blitz came. I couldn't even get the ball off. I looked to the tight end first. And then said, oh, there's a blitz coming. Let me throw it to the flats. And I didn't even have enough time to get it off. You only have time to make one read with this play. That's it. If that one read is made and you're covering that guy, it's over. So here, let's just say, you know, I have the tight end on a streak. I have the running back on a flat. We're going to play the underneath coverage. And I'm just going to watch the tight end. So I'm watching the tight end. Oh, we got to dump it off to the flats. The blitz is coming. Bam. He loses five yards almost. So you have to kind of tweak the zones a little bit, just depending on what you're think the defense I mean, or the offense might do, excuse me. And that's it. So that's the basic blitz. Now, another way to make this even faster, this is something you can do, but you're not going to be able to use the field if you do this. But if you actually click on to this guy that's blitzing, in this case, you would want to put this free safety in a yellow zone. So you would hit A or X, uh, depending on the system, and then you would hit down on the left stick, and that puts him in this little mid-read zone, so he'll stay over the middle. And if you get on this defensive end right here, as soon as he starts coming free, you can hit X to dive. Like right here, you hit X to dive and look, you hit the quarterback, a, you know, not a full second faster, but you hit him a few milliseconds faster. And when you're talking about blitzing, 
that's a really big difference in whether or not they get the pass off or whether or not they, you know, they try to get the pass off and it might force a fumble because you're diving at them. So you can hit the quarterback insanely fast. Now, let's talk about how to scheme this because if they block the running back, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, this is the greatest blitz in the world. It's not the greatest blitz in the world. It's fast. But if they block a running back, see there, he comes up the A gap. That's what happens when you block a running back with this. The problem with it is, is that a lot of times the running back picks it up. See, there the linebacker was able to get around the running back, and that will happen sometimes. For whatever reason, when you block the running back out of this blitz, the offensive line adjusts differently to pick up the pressure. So the right tackle picks up that defensive end, and it allows this middle linebacker to come in free, as you see. And you see there, both times he got past the running back and hit me. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like that happens every time because it doesn't happen every single time, especially in game. If you have a decent running back back there, he's going to block him. But every once in a while, he will sidestep him like that and keep hitting him. You see how he's hitting me every play. But like I said, I'm not going to sit here and act like it happens like that all the time. It's happening consistently right now, but a lot of times the running back picks that up. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. See there, there he picked it up and I'm able to deliver the pass. It was a bad pass, but... You have the ability to still hit the quarterback even with the running back block, and you have that ability to hit them maybe 50% of the time. But the other 50%, they're going to block it, and they're going to pick up the pressure, and then the offense is going to have all day to throw. So that's why you have to scheme this, okay? So now I'm going to just pick an offensive play, whatever offensive play here. This is fine. And I'm going to show you how you want to scheme this. So what you want to do with this is you want to run coverage most of the time, and you want to mix in the blitz. So the main plays I would say to run – would be like the cover three sky. You want to run that. You want to definitely run cover three cloud show two. That's that's a type of uh, coverage that definitely confuses a lot of people. And uh, then you want to just run basic cover two. Now I'm going to show, for example, cover three cloud show two. So if I'm running this, when I'm running coverage, what I like to do is I like to drop one of the defensive tackles back into like a, uh, a spy. That's, that's what I like to do. And then I will user one of these linebackers. So I'll sit here on this linebacker. And now they hike the ball. Now I'm just out here, you know, I'm, I'm using around, you know, trying to make something happen. And the block shuttle will eventually get to them. That's how you want to run this defense. You run, a, you want to run coverage, eight men in coverage. You definitely want eight men in coverage. You want three people uh, rushing the quarterback every single time. So you just drop one of the DTs into a spy. Like I said, you lurk on one of these middle linebackers. You try to take away the little quick routes over the middle. And you just hope for the block shuttle to get there or for them to get frustrated and throw a bad pass. Every once in a while, you come out in that Bucks, that Buck Blitz. Uh, let me see exactly what the name of it was again, because I don't remember the exact name. Every once in a while, you want to come out in the uh, the Buck Zone Blitz, and that's when you get them. You need to play coverage and then sprinkle the Blitz in. That's how it works. If you run the Blitz every play, a good player is going to tear you apart. I'm just warning you now. You have a fast Blitz in your arsenal, but you need to know when to call it. So I can't teach you when to call it you have to feel that out for yourself in the game you know if you've been playing coverage and you got them in a third and long and you're not really afraid of them you know leaving the running back in the block you think he's going to send everybody out on routes that's when you call the blitz when you think they're at least expecting it and then you just go back to playing coverage you frustrate them you make them have to you know nickel and dime you down the field force you know passes into tight windows get them to where they're feeling comfortable not having a running back in the block, and that's when you pull out that blitz. So that's how you want to scheme it. The blitz will definitely help you get stops if you use it the right way. Do not spam it, and I guarantee you, you will have success with this. The nickel double A gap and the nickel two four five double A gap, pretty much every playbook has at least one of those. The 4-3 base playbooks will have nickel normal double A gap. The 3-4 base playbooks will have the 2-4-5 double A gap. So I'm pretty sure almost every playbook has one of one of the variations of the formation. So it's, this should be useful to all of you. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.